Welcome ladies. Thank you for your interest in the Columbiettes. Our goal today is to share with you what it is to be a Columbiette. Pastor Father Hines has a few words he would like to say before we begin. The Columbiettes provide a venue for Catholic women to live out their Catholic values while doing good. We're very grateful to have them in our diocese, our church, and in our communities. They're a beautiful example of living out the Beatitudes and the works of mercy. I hope that you enjoy the meeting and that all of you will give some consideration to whether you might become a Columbiette. Who are the Columbiettes? The Columbiettes are a group of ordinary women who do extraordinary things. We're practicing Catholics ages 18 years and older, and we have similar values and faith. We welcome women from many different walks of life with diverse backgrounds, cultures, experiences, and race, as inclusion and respect for life are our key values. We love to serve God by serving those in need. So how does this work? We are grouped into auxiliaries, and each works with a parish or parishes, and our Knights of Columbus. You do not need to belong to the specific parish to be a member, or be married to a knight. I'm really confused. Are the Knights of Columbus and the Columbiates connected in any way? We are aligned in values and purpose. However, we are separate organizations. Granite Paul, can you add more to this? We appreciate the support of our Columbiates. They are a separately incorporated national organization with their own officers, goals, and activities. We work closely with and are aligned with them in terms of their values and goals. How did the Columbiates get started? In 1939, the New York chapter of Knights of Columbus decided to begin an affiliated women's organization. That very year, the first auxiliary was instituted in New York City, and the Columbiates began. Today, we are a national organization operating in 21 states, including Delaware. Can you be more specific about the Columbiates in Delaware? Sure. Our first auxiliary was established in Millsboro, Delaware in 1994. Since then, we've grown to seven auxiliaries in all three counties and we're always looking to expand. We have a Delaware State Board that serves as a resource and coordinator for all seven auxiliaries, and a national organization called Supreme that oversees the states to ensure coordination and vision. What do Columbiettes actually do? The Columbiettes undertake a wide range of activities, compassionately serving to fill the needs of our local communities, to deepen our faith and spirituality, and to foster our sisterhood. We volunteer our time working with the homeless and veterans in nursing homes, the aged, children's groups, and many others. In addition to giving our time, we raise funds through a multitude of events, including bake sales, teas, flea markets, and basket auctions, just to name a few. And new ideas are always welcomed. To deepen our faith, we volunteer in our parishes and hold retreats pray the rosary, and other activities that increase the understanding and support of our Catholic faith. And to foster our sisterhood, we spend time together at social events and other activities. But most of all, we just have fun. More importantly, we are always there to support one another when in need. What I find amazing is that you can move to another state and immediately connect with new friends by joining a local auxiliary. What is the purpose of the statues on the table? These are our patron saints to whom we look to show us the way to serve and honor the Lord in all we do. We honor our Blessed Mother. She shows us to place our faith and trust in God's will. We honor St. Therese, the little flower. She shows us that simple acts of kindness and sacrifice are great acts of love and are as important as heroic deeds. And finally, we honor St. Joan of Arc. She helps us strive to live our faith with courage and commitment. What does the emblem on your shirt symbolize? The blue circle represents the world. The white cross represents Christ's love for us. The rays represent our zeal to serve God through the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, which are symbolized by the three stars and represent all that the Columbiettes do. Okay, so how do I join? It is easy to join. The first step is to let us know you're interested. A Columbiette will call or visit to answer your questions and to provide the details needed on how to become a member. You will then be invited to a brief initiation to gain a deeper understanding of the organization where you will become a Columbiette. Why did you join? Great question. There are many reasons why a woman joins the Columbiettes. Here are just a few of the reasons our members have given. 
I joined because I was looking for a new way to meet other Catholic women with the same morals and new service opportunities. I thank God for the Columbiettes and my new friendships. Teresa joined because there is an emptiness that needs to be filled through service, spirituality, and sisterhood. That gap was filled. Rosemary joined because it looked like the Columbiettes in her parish ran so many fun activities and she wanted to be part of it. And then when she moved to Delaware and discovered that the closest church had Columbiettes, she knew that she would have instant sisters. As a Catholic woman today, it is so important and so needed to be part of an organization who holds your values and your beliefs. We hope that this information demonstrates that the Delaware State Columbiettes is such an organization. As sisters in faith, we can boldly share our beliefs, serving for the glory of our Lord, following the examples of our patron saints. To learn more about the Columbiettes, please visit our website or send an email to decolumbiettes at gmail.com.